Okay, in this uh, short video, we're going to take a look at what a traditional uh, DevOps stack looks like and what that means to teams to stand up a new project uh, and get CI CD working and then contrast that with uh, GitLab and our vision for complete DevOps. So here we look at the legacy state, a uh, set of tools that many enterprises use for, for DevOps. Uh, and so let's talk about a brand new uh, project that's getting started by a developer. They're going to have code uh, and, you know, start creating this new project. And of course, the developer is going to be uploading that to their source, co source control management system. Let's say in this case, GitHub Enterprise. Uh, so we'll need a new project there and, and to make sure that the right people are credentialed and have access to that project. Uh, and then we might hand off that project to the infrastructure and DevOps team. Uh, they're gonna create uh, a new channel in Slack to help with ideation. They'll create a new project with the right credentials again, matched up in JIRA uh, so that we can manage the planning of this project. Uh, they'll create a new project or folder in Jenkins, uh, make sure that that has the right credentials to connect back to source control. Um, then we might make in the DevOps side of the house, we might make a new project or write prod, uh, files for Puppet and Chef or Chef to, uh, to, to stand up environments for this. And maybe we include those in source control, maybe we don't, uh, it depends on our processes. Uh, and then for production, we're gonna have to stand up a new instance. So we'll have to spec that instance, uh, let's say in AWS or Kubernetes. Uh, we'll have to create that instance, make sure that the credentials uh, to get all the way back uh, are ready for that instance, and then maybe create a new project in New Relic, uh, for instance, to monitor uh, that production instance. But then also, you know, if we want to dockerize and, and kind of take this into the cloud, we're going to have to uh, create uh, a Docker file and, and maybe have Docker Hub to store that, or maybe in addition to that, uh, have an artifact store in, you know, um, Nexus or Artifactory. Uh, and then we're going to connect the build process into that channel in Slack that we created so that we can actually have uh, build uh, statuses uh, be able to be visible by the developers. Um, then those artifacts or those Docker images, we're going to want to factor those into our uh, Puppet and Chef scripts. Uh, from there, we're also gonna wanna focus on code quality. So probably at build time, um, Jenkins will push code quality metrics to Sonar, and then we might wanna connect that again back to Slack to understand how code quality is changing as we're making changes. Uh, and then, you know, we're gonna wanna, again, put the monitoring into Slack as well so that uh, production issues are, are clearly uh, noted back to developers. Uh, and so this is, you know, 20 plus steps uh, to, to set up and connect and wire together this brittle architecture. Uh, and in many organizations, this can take a long period of time. It can need different people if someone manages JIRA and someone manages source control and someone else manages Jenkins and someone else manages production environments. Now we're, you know, we're talking about multiple roles uh, involved and, and their shared time and you know, when their availability is to, to stand up something new. Um, and so that contrasts with GitLab, uh, of course, by saying, you know, in a mature state, GitLab controls uh, everything about our software delivery pipeline. And, and maybe it's still connected to Slack because we want to do some chat ops, but the develop code goes right into GitLab. Uh, from there, GitLab automatically detects what kind of code it is, builds it, automatically uses Heroku build packs for testing and code quality automatically dockerizes the app for us and deploys it into a Kubernetes cluster with auto review apps and auto deploy. And because it's deployed in Kubernetes and we have Prometheus baked into GitLab, we're automatically monitoring that code uh, from day one. And so in this way, uh, developers are enabled to deliver code faster to production uh, and cuts out that brittle house of cards, traditional DevOps stack. 